back here at NSUSpartans.com after a come from behind 3-2 win over Howard here with sophomore libero Noel Eagles and Noel those first two sets I mean you guys were out hitting them and you guys were just basically out doing everything against them just had a few service errors you went into the went back there in between the second and third for the 10 minute break what did coach say to you guys to get you going um, coach just talked about how, um, how big the win was over William and Mary and that he didn't want people to think it was a fluke so it kind of gave us fire in the butt to come out here mm -hmm. and play hard and let Howard know how we really can play. What on the court though, what really kind of turned it around for you guys? What was it on the court that really got you going? Um, I don't know, Howard was kind of talking some trash and it got us fired up and we realized we had to limit our airs to win and I think we did that. We put the pressure more on them. Yeah, you guys had, thir you had 13 service errors altogether but you had 11 through the first two sets so obviously just two through those last three. I mean, I'm sure that's something that's, that coach has always been stressing throughout the year about those service errors. So I mean that was probably the biggest key there was just not letting them have the easy points. Yeah, yeah that was exactly, we were giving them way too many points and we were allowing we weren't allowing them to make errors, so we need to put the ball in their hands and let them make the errors and just play how we can play. And once again, obviously, it was Charlotte led you guys, but it was still somewhat of a balanced attack. You guys had, I mean, you almost threw everyone out in the kitchen sink out there at one point. Yeah. So, I mean, again, for you guys, I'm sure it was good that you guys had different players contributing here and there, and it wasn't just Charlotte and that was it. Yeah, everyone stepped up as a team. Our team came together, and we needed everyone to perform, and everyone did their jobs. It was that was redshirt sophomore Noel Eagles after the 3-2 win over Howard. But now we're here with freshman Jessica Johnson. And Jessica, I talked to Noel. It was a big, I mean, you guys were out playing him in the first two sets. You guys just, several airs here and there was giving him the points. And she said that coach stressed between that second and third set, that 10-minute break, that you guys just, after that win over William & Mary, you guys couldn't come out flat like this. Why do you think you guys came out a little flat? early on? I think we just really weren't really thinking that Howard was that big of a threat. I think we came in knowing that we know we need to win this game and we should win this game. So I think we just played really complacent because that's how we were thinking. But you guys did turn it around in that, uh, that third set there, um, you know, 25-21 20, and obviously you really started taking it away in the fourth set, 25-15 and obviously 15-7. What was the difference for you guys, especially the hitters out there on the court, what was the difference in those um, in the second, you say the third set and on what, for you guys? I think we just knew that we were we were down and that it was the last chance we had to come back. We just knew that we had to start putting balls away. We had to do our jobs individually to come back and win this game. And what did what did Howard do early on? Um, obviously, you guys gave away some points, 11 service errors, those first two sets. But what was Howard specifically doing that was putting them in advantageous situations there? They were just out playing us all together. Like we were playing really sloppy, just going through the motions, and they were just working hard because they didn't have anything to lose. They knew that they haven't won anything. They were just playing a lot harder than we were. This is, I mean, obviously it's early in the season. You guys are only tuned one in the MEAC. But this is one of those matches where if you lose it, it can really affect you guys backsliding. Um, but you win it and you keep the momentum going. Obviously, Virginia Commonwealth on Tuesday is going to be a, a difficult uh, game because they're very good. You know, they're probably better than uh, William & Mary. But you guys got to be happy that, you know, at the end of it, no matter how it looks on paper, you still came out with the win. Yeah, and this was a really good win for us because, especially in the MEAC, now we're 2-1. and one, So we have a positive record in the MEAC, so it helps us for later on in the season. Yeah, and not to say that there's must-win uh, matches, but there's matches where you feel like that you have to get this win. You know, obviously it'll be tough when you go up against the UMES and even Hampton, but there's other matches that no matter who the, you know, no matter if they're 0-15 like Howard or 0-14 like Howard was or what, you feel like these are the matches that you guys have to get. Yeah, it definitely was a match that we had to win. Any conference game is a have-to-win match, that, so I thought it was good that we won this one. Yep. That was freshman Jessica Johnson. Well, now we're here with the head coach, Brandon Duvall, and Brandon, I mean, you're looking at the score sheet. You guys were still out playing in those first and second sets, but obviously 11 service errors hurt, but I mean, was it just that, or what else was just for you guys that was that was giving Howard the advantage there? Oh, we just were flat. We weren't playing. I mean, we, I think even at that, like you said, in the first two sets, we were out hitting them. Um, I think we are out digging them. We had more assists. We just had a lot more in the statistics column, but we just were flat. We weren't going after balls that were in our range. We weren't um, executing at the level we have been over the last couple practices and, in, in course, in our last match. And then, um, you know, and then, to be honest with you, some of our leaders were kind of more concerned about their play and about you know 
trying to be focused on what they needed to do that you know we lost leadership around the team so mm -hmm. it kind of we struggled a little bit the first two sets and thankfully we uh we regrouped when we got in the locker room for the for the intermission and came back and played some ball yeah noel uh said earlier that um you were in there and saying you know we don't want this is not how we should be playing. We don't want people to think this William Mary win was a fluke. Um, but what, what specifically, aside from some of those errors that you guys didn't do, you didn't hit nearly as many in the last three sets. What else um, worked for you guys in the, to get the win there? Um, we just we communicated better. It's amazing. It's one of those things where you don't really. It's hard to train communication. You try mm -hmm. and practice. We do run through some drills where we do some communicate communication stuff. But we just weren't communicating at the highest level. We weren't playing through the ball and communicating at the same time. It was just, everybody was just wanting things to happen for them mm -hmm. and instead of making them happen. And then when we came out, the attitude was different. They, you know, left whatever issues they had in the locker room, came out and everybody was a little bit more reliable. Everyone did their jobs and everybody just fought. And that's, that's to me, that's my style. Mm -hmm. I just like to see people compete and fight. And even if we drop a match, if the team is better than us, we got to recognize that. But we weren't playing up to our level at all. We were completely below where we've been. So we, uh, it, it was, Heart wrenching a little bit to start, but you know, it's a, I'm satisfied with the outcome. Yeah, um, you know, there's obviously every team is tough in the MIAC North, but there's certain, you know, the way teams play, there's certain teams that you feel like you have to get these wins. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying Howard is one of them, but they were, you know, 0 and 14 coming in. You, right. you don't want to be their first win on a season, no. but um, obviously going in, like I said, this is just one of those wins that you guys really had to get to. Fall, you know, prevent from falling down in the standings. Right. I mean, we wanted to go. This will be our third consecutive win. We wanted to prove to everybody that you know the William and Mary match isn't a fluke. William and Mary is a phenomenal team, and I, you know I know the coaches over at uh, at Howard now, and I know they're going to do a great job. So you know, right now they're going through that transition stage, and that is a win we need to get, and and because it is not going to win, it's not going to be an easy win for us in the future. Those coaches are going to continue to develop that program, and um, and the Miac North is just getting tougher and tougher. Every time I look at a, a school with a new coach, it's like, oh, this is going to be even tougher for us and you know so it's not it's satisfying for me to come out and even though Howard uh, is, uh, hasn't won one yet they took UMES to five, five so yeah. you can't at no point can you leave anybody any slack or mm -hmm. say hey this is one we're just we just got to come in and play you know and, and get out we got to focus on these teams and there's one we had to get yeah and obviously you had you threw almost everyone out there um, mm -hmm. but the biggest um, was when you were mixing up Nicole and Darcy a little mm -hmm. bit and um, so what was what was the strategy behind that not that Darcy was doing a bad job. I thought Darcy, Darcy was doing phenomenal. I think she's been an excellent addition as a freshman coming in and starting and being a good leader. But mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, it's just it's not quite like football where that quarterback change is going to make a difference. But the tempo is a little different. Just mm -hmm. what's being said is a little different. So maybe the mood on the court could change. So we put Nicole in there who, I mean, Nicole's got a wealth of experience and knowledge. I mean, why wouldn't, now that she's healthy, we need to use her more often. And she came out and definitely everyone got on board. Everyone got a little bit more comfortable and relaxed. And then when Darcy got back in, everybody's game was, was elevated. And it wasn't like Darcy felt like she had to put the whole game on her shoulders no. either. No, 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 no. She, I mean, she's tried and she does yeah. a good job. And I've been extremely pleased with her. Um, but it is nice to have somebody like Nicole Kessner you know, say, oh, well, let's change it up and throw Nicole in. Um, we also have uh, Kristen as well. So we have options setting Wide that wise that could really help our team and that's nice because I don't think we've had that in the past where we're able to make that quick adjustment and see what we can do with the team uh, now we have a deeper bench and we can adjust way more and it's it's been good yeah like so that was head coach Brandon Duvall uh, after the 3-2 win over Howard the comeback 3-2 win after Howard had won the first two sets of course now it doesn't get any easier you got Spartans will have Virginia Commonwealth here at Echoes Hall at 6 p.m. on Tuesday um, before we're going back into MIAC play uh, next next weekend at UMES and Delaware State. For all your information this year on Norfolk State Volleyball, keep checking back to NSUSpartans.com.